everyone. Today we will gain some basic knowledge about the constitution of India through some multiple choice questions. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Question 1. In which year was the Armed Force Tribunal Act was passed? Options are A. 2001 B. 2003 C. 2005 or D. 2007 The correct answer to this question is Option D. That is 2007 But what is Armed Force Tribunal Act? Let's find out. The Armed Force Tribunal Act was passed in the year 2007 by the parliament. It led to the formation of the armed force tribunals throughout India with the power of adjudication or the trial by armed force on disputes and complaints with respect to commission, appointment, enrollment on the conditions of service and respect of the person subject to Army Act 1950, Navy Act 1957 and the Air Force Act 1950. The next question is, where is the headquarter of Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India located? The options are A. Andhra Pradesh, B. Tamil Nadu, C. Telangana or D. Gujarat. The correct answer is option C, that is Telangana. The IRDAI is the headquartered in Hyderabad in Telangana. It is the apex body responsible for regulating and developing the insurance industry in India. It has an autonomous body and has a statutory body. The next question is, the Intellectual Property Appellate Board has been established under which ministry? A. Ministry of Finance B. Ministry of Home Affairs C. Ministry of Commerce and Industry and D. Ministry of External Affairs The correct answer is Option C, that is Ministry of Commerce and Industry. The Intellectual Property Appellate Board in India has been constituted by a Gazette notification of the central government in the Ministry of Commerce and Industry on 15th September 2003. The next question is, which of the following constitute the All India Services? First, Indian Administrative Services Second, in police services, three, in forest services, or four, and in economic services. Options are only one and two, B, only one and three, C, only one, two, and three, or D, one, two, three, and four. The correct answer to this question is option C, that is, the first, second, and third service constitute all India service. Presently, there are only three in All India Services, that is Indian I Service, IAS, in Police Service, IPS, and in Forest Service, IFS. Next question is, who was the Chief Protagonist of All India Service in the Constituent Assembly? Options are A. Jawaharlal Nehru B. Dr. Rajendra Prasad C. Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel or D. K. M. Munshi the correct answer to this question is option C, that is Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. The Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel was the chief protagonist of All India Service in the Constituent Assembly of India. He is also regarded as the father of All Indian Services. The next question is, how many Group A Central Services are there at present? Options are A. 50 B. 60 C. 62 or D70? The correct answer to this question is option C, that is 62. Some of the uh, some of group of the central services are Central Engineering Service, Central Health Service, Central Information Service, Central Legal Service, Central Secretariat Service, and many more like these. The next question is, the parliament can create new All India Service under which article of the Constitution of India? Options are A. Article 115 B. Article 300 
C article 312 or D article 320 the correct answer to this question is article 320 that is option C as per article 312 the Parliament of India can create a new all India service including all India judicial service of Raj Rajya Sabha of the upper house passes a resolution declaring that it is necessary or expedient in the national interest to do so. Now let's talk about what is article 312. 312 states all India services. Clause 1 states that notwithstanding anything in chapter 6 of part 6 or part 11 if council of the states has declared by resolution supported by not less than two thirds of the members present and voting that it is necessary or expedient in the national interest to, so to do, the parliament may by law provide for the creation of one or more all India services, common to union and states, and subject to the other provisions of this chapter, regulate the recruitment and the conditions of the service of person appointed in any such service. The service is known at the commencement of this constitution as the Indian Administrative Service and the Indian Police Services shall be deemed to be a service created by Parliament under this article. Clause 3. The All India Judicial Services referred in Clause 1 shall not include any post inferior to that of a district judge as defined in Article 236. And Clause 4. The law providing for the creation of All India Judicial Service aforesaid may contain such provision of the amendment of Chapter 6 of Part 6 as may be necessary for giving effect to the provisions of law and no such law shall be deemed to be an amendment of this constitution for purpose of the Article 368. The next question is, which of the following are the powers of the National Commission of Scheduled Tribes? First, summoning and enforcing the attendance of any person from any part of India and examining him on oath. Second, requesting any public record from any court or office, receiving evidence on affidavit. Third, the options are only first, B, only first and second, C, only second and third, or D, first, second and third. The correct answer to this question is option D, that is, all the statement, that is, First, second, and third statement are correct, and all the statements are the powers of the National Commission for Scheduled Tribes. The next question is Who appoints the chairperson of National Commission of Backward Classes, NCBC? Options are A. Parliament, B. President, C. Prime Minister or D Government? The correct answer to this question is option B, that is, President appoints the chairperson of the National Commission for Backward Classes. The National Commission for Backward Classes consists of a chairperson, a vice chairperson, and three other members. The members are appointed by the President of India by warrant under the hand and his seal. The next question is, who appoints the Chief Information Commissioner of the Central Information Commission? Options are A. Rajya Sabha B. A Committee of Lok Sabha C. President or D. Prime Minister The correct answer to this question is option C. That is, the President appoints the Chief Information Commissioner of the Central Information Commission. The Chief Information Commissioner and the other members of the Central Information Commission appointed by the President of India on the recommendation of a committee consisting of the Prime Minister as Chairperson, the Leader of Opposition in the Lok Sabha and a Union Cabinet Minister. The next question is, what is the maximum age limit till which the Chief Information Commissioner and an Information Commissioner can hold office? Options are A. 60 years, B. 62 years, C. 
65 years or D 70 years the correct answer to this question is option C that is 65 years the next question is which of the following corporation is totally subjected to private audit options are a the air Indian Airlines Corporation B the Reserve Bank of India C oil and Natural Gas Commission or D the Air India the correct answer to this question is option B that is Reserve Bank of India is totally subject to private audit sub corporations in India are totally subject to private audit the audit is done exclusively by the private professional auditors and CAG does not come into picture at all they submit their annual reports and accounts directly to the Parliament of India. Some of the examples are Reserve Bank of India and State Bank of India. The next question is In which year was the Planning Commission of India established? Options are A. 1949, B. 1950, C. 1951, or D. 1952. The correct answer to this question is option B, that is 1950. The Planning Commission of India was established in 1915. It was established through an executive resolution of the Government of India on the recommendation of the Advisory Planning Board constituted in 1946. The next question is, the National Voters Day is celebrated on A. 25th January B. 25th March, C, 23rd July, or D, 25th September. The correct answer to this question is A, that is on 25th January. In 2011, Election Commission of India launched the National Voters Day to be celebrated on 25th January every year as a part of the Systematic Voters Education and Electoral Participation Program. The next question is, in which year the Chief Information Commissioner via an order had declared the political parties as public authorities and brought them under the RTI Act? Options are A. 2011 B. 2013 C. 2016 or D. 2018 The correct answer to this question is option B, that is 2000, in 2013. The next question is, which of the following is correct regarding the Union Public Service Commission? Statement 1. It is a watchdog of the merit system in India. Statement 2. It conducts the recruitment to all India services and central service, Group A and Group B. And Statement 3. It involves a classification of services, pay and service conditions cadre management and training the options are only first b only first and second statements are correct c only third statement is correct or d first second third statement are correct the correct answer to this question is option b that is only first and second statement is correct regarding the union public service commission The Union Service Public Commission is also known as the watchdog of the merit system in India. It conducts recruitment to all India services and central services of Group A and Group B. It is not involved in the classification of services, pay, service condition, card management and training. These matters are handled by the Department of Personal and Training. The next question is, in which year? The Indian Forest Service was established as a third All India Services. Options are A. 1966 B. 1968 C. 1970 or D. The 1972 The correct answer to this question is option A that is 1966. 